Welcome to the Hard Dollar Self-Paced Training Master Resource Rates Lesson. This lesson will provide you with a basic overview of setting up the master resource rates in the library. We will cover the following tabs in this lesson, rented construction equipment and installed material. When new job folders are created, you will have the ability to specify the master resource rates that you want to have copied into the new job. This section will demonstrate how to create a new rented construction equipment master resource in the library. When new job folders are created, you will have the ability to specify the master resource rates that you want to have copied into the new job. Click the next arrow below to progress to the next frame in the movie, or click the Home button in the lower right corner to return to the home page of the movie. The Master Resource Rate Register Rented Construction Equipment form is used to create or modify the rate charged for the employment of an individual rented construction equipment resource of a certain class. Rented construction equipment resources are used to separate rented construction equipment costs from owned construction equipment costs in the cost breakdown structure for a job. This is done so quotations can be taken for providing the resource and a list can be created of all rented construction equipment in kind and quantity that have been figured out in the job. Plus, by separating them from owned equipment resource costs, rented construction equipment resource costs can be treated separately when establishing the price for the job. A rented construction equipment rate can be assigned to a quote group tag, a tax rate, and minority part participation goal attainment allowance. We will add a new rented construction resource to the library. Rather than clicking on the green burst to create this new record, we will simply type the code on the register. For this example, we will add a rental pickup with a code of RPU. The new rental construction equipment resource moves up in the list because we have our register sorted on the code column. Now we will add the description, resource file description, default quantity, and organizational category information directly on the register view. Now we will expand the view of the rental pickup in the register view by clicking on the plus sign. We will enter $1 into the RE rental expense cost category, $0.15 cents into the RE overhead cost category, and $7 into the undefined RE rental cost category. Next, we will open the rental pickup record to review the updates that we have made. First, we will right-click on the row header next to RPU. Then we will click Open. Now we will expand the Rented Equipment Cost category. Then we will expand the RE Rental Cost category. Note that all the costs we entered on the register view appear in the record view as well. Next, we will enter the fuel type in the consumption rate to calculate our hourly fuel cost. Now we will expand the RE operation cost category. Note that the RE fuel cost is calculated at $65.88 per hour based on the fuel type and consumption rate. Lastly, we will review the information on the Setup tab. We will click on the Setup tab to access that information. Once again, all the information that was entered in the register view appears in the record view. Now we will click the OK button to close the rented construction equipment record. This section will demonstrate how to create an installed material master resource in the library. When new job folders are created, you will have the ability to specify the master resource rates that you want to have copied into the new job. The Master Resource Rate Register installed material form is used to create or modify the rate charged for the installation of an individual material resource of a certain class. Each resource represents a single class of installed material, for example, 2500 PSI concrete, and consists of a code, description, and a set of rate elements that together value the rate, for example, $100 per cubic yard. Each installed material resource can be assigned two different tax rates. Also, each installed material resource can be assigned a quote group tag to help in the administration of quote management. Quotes will be discussed in a future module. 
Each installed material resource can be assigned a minority participation allowance so that if it is awarded to a minority company, a share of its total value will contribute to the minority participation goal set in the job by its owner. To create a new installed materials resource, click on the small green burst located toward the top left corner of the resource register. Now we will enter a code and description for our new installed material resource. The new installed material resource that we are adding is asphalt cement with a code of MAC. Next, we will set the unit of measure for our installed materials resource. In this example, we will set the unit of measure to ton. Next, we will go to the Setup tab. We will enter information in the resource file and organizational category. Next, we will enter minority percent that this particular install materials will represent if it is selected in a job. In our example, the asphalt cement will have a setting of 60% for minority percent. That means that 60% of its total value will contribute to the minority goals that are set in the job when this resource is employed. Now we will click on the charge rate tab. Now we will expand the materials cost category. Next, we will enter $150 as the cost per ton of asphalt cement. Now we will click OK to close the installed material rate record. Congratulations, you have just completed the lesson. This lesson covered the following topics. Setting up master resource rates in the library for rented construction equipment and installed material. 